Oi galera, tudo bom? Obrigado pelo nosso ouvinte Marcelo que enviou essa pergunta para a gente hoje, que é como é que a gente faz para converter os sons do mandarim para o cantonês? Eu sei que várias pessoas é, brasileiras que estão na China estudam mandarim por vários anos e quando vem para cá, putz, como é que eu falo porque aqui é tudo em cantonês, como é que eu faço a conversão? Tem alguma regra para converter? Então vamos explicar sobre isso hoje. Até mais! 3, 2, 1! guys so now here's an example we are at uh, these two signs one says central library but in Cantonese and Mandarin yes this is how we uh, explain about uh, the signs because uh, usually if you have something like uh, gun, gun in Cantonese right so gun it means uh, a place So, in Mandarin would be... What? Yes. And when you have something like chuko, which is exit in Mandarin, but in Cantonese... Chuchau. Yeah, so ko becomes like how. Of course, not all the time, but most of the time it turns out to be like that. So, uh, another example here would be this character in the middle that says do which means do means way right yes so but in mandarin it is Dao. yes so let's go to another example okay. this was hidemi's idea so that we shoot the recyclable uh plastic uh what the bag uh trash cans the trash cans so we are here uh the first one to landfill what's that <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Sorry, we're having technical problem here. <laughs> hey, do you know the, the second one? Ji Chan, right? Uh, how to say in Cantonese? Zi Chan. Yes. In Mandarin? Ji Chan, right? Paper only. Let's go to plastics only. Plastics only. No metal parts. Uh, okay, we are going to. Okay, later when we edit this video, we are going to put the translation in Cantonese. <laughs> Do you know Mandarin? No. No. Okay, let's go to Kinzokune metal only. How to say metal only in Mandarin? Jinshu. All right, in Cantonese? All right. So you see that for gold. It says uh, gum in Cantonese and jing in Mandarin. So whenever you encounter a sound like jing, like most of the time becomes like gum, I guess. <laughs> yeah. yes, All right, then Here. let's go to the next one. This is a question I always wanted to ask you. Because we say in English, we say pedestrians, right? Yeah. And then in Cantonese it's like hang yang, hang yang. But how do you say Mandarin? I don't think, do they say, I don't think they say right? They say yeah. I don't think they use this word either. I always want to ask a Mandarin person how to say So, okay, to so our viewers in China, if you can access our channel on either YouTube or Youku, please tell us how to say pedestrians in Mandarin. Because <laughs> we really want to know. Yeah. Now we already got to, from Causing Bay, we came all the way to Tinghao. I'm going to explain to you some uh, signs here in Tinghao. Do you know that we call 7-Eleven in Cantonese a Tinghai? We don't call it 7-Eleven. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Where is it? 7-Eleven. Let's yeah. go. And in China, is it written in Chinese or is it written in English? I forgot. Uh, I, think it, I, I think it was in English as well. But All they right. call it like... Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they call it qi shi yi, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, guys, so in China, they just translate from English to, to, to Mandarin. So they call it qi shi yi, which yeah. is basically 7-Eleven. And in Cantonese, they say cha... Well... Cha zai. Cha zai, we call it cha zai. Or you can call it cha zai. 
Tesla means like 7-Eleven. Yes. But there's like a way of saying calling 7-Eleven as Chatai. And what does Chatai mean? Well, it's just like a cute sound, cute way of saying 7-Eleven. So it doesn't really right. mean anything. Dai means boy. Yeah, like right? a boy, yes. Yeah, yes. all right, cool. Okay guys, so we are here in front of HSBC. HSBC. How to say HSBC in Cantonese? Hui Fong. Hui Fong. And in Mandarin? Hui Fong. Hui Fong. Oh yes, yes, we fun, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah. Uh, sounds similar, but the accent, the tones are like the tones are yes. a little bit different, right? Yeah. So Hidemi, what's uh, what's your conclusion about today's video? <laughs> but, <laughs> wow. Still wait. Still We've seen a lot of people. I think a lot of people home. Oh, that's my home. <laughs> my conclusion is that we are very like sweaty so many yeah we are very sweaty and it's a sunny day and it's really hot so what do you think about the difference between cantonese and mandarin yes well i actually think um well some words are really similar but you can find out like most of the words are different especially writing as well because uh, in china they use simplifying yes. my chinese and i yeah, a lot of people from Hong Kong couldn't read those simplified Chinese. Alright. Yeah, so, well, it's interesting, you know, because it's the same Chi Chinese language, but such big difference, so. Alright. Yes, that's my conclusion. <laughs> okay, guys, and I have a big news to announce, so Hidemi is finally back <laughs> to Hong Kong. And then from now on, we are going to publish more videos, so stay tuned in our YouTube channel, please subscribe here and like our videos here and thanks a lot. Thank See you, you guys. Arigato. Arigato.